Now this is going to be a difficult video to make because it came as a shock to me and spoiler alert, I'm very subjective and actually invested into this uh, emotionally, emotionally, not uh, financially. But emotionally I am because uh, not only I've been following Styx for years now, uh, but I also admired his character, the persona that he puts on online. I don't know how he is offline. I know nothing about the man offline, but online, he seems to have integrity every single time he did cites his sources. And it's not just the content that he puts out, but is that time and time again, when a small creator or a small channel had some problems, uh, he always tried to help them out. Like he has spoken on behalf of left-leaning people and right-leaning people. He has tried to uh, get channels back up that have been uh, wrongfully terminated. Uh, and, you know, like as a member of the YouTube community, he has behaved in a way that I wish more people would have behaved. And this is like online. Offline, however, things seem to be a little bit shocking, at least for me, because uh, he may be a completely different person than the nice online persona that he puts up. And this has happened before with other content creators like Boogie, for instance. And I would be really disappointed if I find out that is the same case with Styx. Because this morning I wake up and I expected to see his analysis of the vice presidential debates. And on his channel, it seems that he hasn't been streaming for more than two days. And this is really bizarre because this is his bread and butter. Like, there's no way you would miss something like this as a political content creator. At least you'd release some sort of video. Like, even if you can't, you go to a bathroom and you record yourself for one minute and you upload that. So I thought that something may have happened to him. And I go around and I start asking people. And it turns out that something did happen to him. He has no Wi-Fi connection where he is. Uh, he is in jail. He has been arrested for domestic battery. Now, I do not know what that means. Because uh, I don't know in what state he is in now. Like I, I knew he was in uh, Vermont for a while. But as you can see from his videos, he's all over the place now. Like he was in Norway for a time period. And he had this office. And then he moved this into this place. And now he's somewhere else. So I don't know where he is. Because domestic battery can mean anything from like having an argument. And cutlery is flying around. And the neighbors get upset and they call the cops. And it can all be to someone getting hospitalized, right? So, like, all of these things can be summed up as domestic battery. Uh, so, I don't know anything about what he did. But I hope that from a scale of 1 to 10, it's lower than a 5, you know? Because, again, I, I genuinely like the guy. I like watching the guy. And it, it's very difficult for me to believe that he would do something like this. But it's not impossible, of course. I mean... Uh, you know, people that act professional in front of the camera can be completely different offline. I know many content creators that have, like, a different personality outside the cameras that they have in front of them. So, yeah, it, it is uh, very disappointing if it turns out that uh, this is true. Because, you know, he's still innocent until proven guilty. So, maybe he is falsely accused. I, I can only hope. Uh, but until we know more, I, I can't weigh in my opinion on it. Uh, what I think is going to happen, however, is that there's going to be a lot of channels that dislike him anyway, who are going to make videos and moralize on the issue. Which is normal, because it's the internet. But uh, take into account that I find it very fascinating, especially in current year, that a lot of people only happen to moralize on individuals they dislike. I don't know if you noticed that, right? Uh, like, like for instance, Mr. Beast does something, and all the e-girls on Twitch are like, blah, 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 blah. how dare he, blah, 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 blah. how can he, blah, 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 blah. Right? which is normal. Healthy human reaction to have, I agree. But then when Mr. Beast friend does something, they're like, oh, well, we need to wait. We need, we need to, to see all the facts. We, we shouldn't jump and rush into conclusion. I mean, if it turns out that what he did is done, I mean, obviously it's beyond the pale, but we should wait, like, chotomate, chotomate, you know? <clears throat> and a lot of people are like that, and it's uh, it's just omoshiroi, very interesting when you see it. <laughs> uh, so I expect the same would happen to Sticks, right? Like, there's going to be a lot of channels that are going to cover this uh, if it actually ends up going to court, uh, and it's getting live stream. oof. I mean, Sticks has been spinning around in various circles, various communities, a lot of people know who he is, and there's going to be a lot of individuals just covering the case. <clears throat> 
Now, there's also going to be the question of what happens when he gets back. Will he make a video about it or not? If he doesn't make a video about it, uh, he's going to be persuaded to do it. Because uh, you can't have half a million subscribers and people not finding out about this. So, the moment he makes a video and you go into his comment section, probably one out of every three comments is going to ask him about it. And there's going to be people speculating and... There's going to be trolls that are going to imply he did something even worse just to get him to address it. <clears throat> so he's going to have to address it eventually. There's no way around it. I do think that when he does address it, he's probably going to say something like, my lawyer advised me not to talk about this issue because it's still an ongoing thing. Which, to be honest, is probably the smart thing to do because if he doesn't address it, the moment he live streams, the first three super chats and the next three and the three after that are probably going to ask him questions about the case and questions about this. Uh, in fact, streaming may actually be a really bad idea because um, you're going to have people that try to get you to talk about it and if it's an ongoing investigation and you start talking about it, it can and will be used against you. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Man, I still can't believe it. It's, it, it, it. You know, like, with other content creators, when you see it, you're like, oh, I kind of see it. Yeah, I, I saw it coming. I mean, it, it's kind of expected. But with sticks, not so much. Although, I gotta say, I, I've been uh, shown a very bizarre live stream in which he starred, and I don't know how old is it. Like, I, I thought it's a very old live stream, but it turns out it's actually a recent one. And it's him uh, and a lady. And he gropes the lady, he grabs her by, by her chest, and, and applies a squeeze. And it's very cringe. Like, he's not doing it as a bit, he's not doing it for entertaining, he's not, he's not doing it in order to rile up the chat or anything like that. Uh, which would be unexcusable, but like, I'm, I'm not casting um, morality on the issue, I'm analyzing it from the point of view, like, why did he do it? And, and as I looked at it, it's almost as if he forgot that the camera is rolling. That was my assumption, so like... As a professional streamer that has been doing this for years, it's not justifiable for him to forget that the camera is rolling. Uh, so maybe something is going on through his life right now. Maybe maybe he's at a low. Like maybe you know, if people know him and they talk to him, maybe they can figure out what's going on and uh, try to see if he can get any help. Like this is uh, something which. Uh, had a couple of flags that I missed, because again, I haven't seen the stream, it was other people that brought it to me. And my understanding is that, uh, you know, he was married, but like, he lived with her in Norway, but then moved on. Like, again, my lore with him is not very tight. So, uh, maybe, maybe something like that. I, I don't know what it is, but um, eventually we're going to find out. So, uh, his bond, I believe, is somewhere around $7,500. Uh, this is what I've been told. I think, like, Quartering wanted to pay it, but then uh, he, he had it on a stream, and I don't know what happened. Maybe he just backed out, and so when, when he saw the charge and what he is being convicted with, uh, maybe that what got him to, to back out, or I don't know. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, it's, it's a lot of money. Uh, although, as a streamer with half a million subscribers, it's possible that he may be able to pay it himself. Unless, um, he already spent what he made. We'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of him, you're not going to get any recent videos for a while. And it's not because YouTube isn't uploading you. So, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.